The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman sitting for Larry Pesavento uh, while, his, uh, while his voice is in the repair shop getting serviced. Uh, hopefully, he'll be back really soon. Uh, he's all ready to do everything. It's just that his voice is uh, it's very scratchy and hurting, I believe. So, we're looking. Let me just show you something here. Here's the one minute chart. Now, in the Chapman Week methodology, I use some very simple techniques. Uh, is that something I can do right now? I guess it is. Let's see if I can get there. Mm, let me, oh, there it is. Okay. Here we go. I just wanted to show you how these patterns form. Uh, that's not the pattern we want to look at. We're looking. So in the Chapman Wave methodology, I try to identify the lowest low bar. Once you can, you get that, it goes to a peak A, the first peak, and then it reverses. It's a, a floating letter until it reverses. That becomes an official letter. And then it pulls back. As long as it doesn't take out the starting point, even by one penny, it just, it's just it got to hold that. If it goes one penny above that peak A starts leg B until it makes a peak. You can go four higher peaks. You can even go seven higher peaks, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But it's at D, the fourth highest peak, when a buy signal is upgraded to a buy mode. It implies there should be at least four higher peaks. That's number one. And number two is it says at peak D, other things can happen. That's where you can get the sharpest pullback. That's where you can go uh, continue high if within three bars it pull it, it makes a new recovery high. That's called the Chapman wave instant restart. And we can go E A E slash A F slash B G slash C. And usually, if you get to a G slash C, there'll be a bit of a pullback, a cup formation. You make your D and that fourth highest peak, and then you better be careful. All right. Within that, we've got other things that we look at: straight line up, straight line down, cup formation, arch formation, combination of the down and the arch if it fails at a peak A or a B, takes out the left side low, it can go a lot lower. And on the right side, you've got the reverse Y. If it takes out the left side high, you can go a lot higher. All right, keep it as simple as possible. I have other things. I have the, the uh, rectangle, the narrow, and the large rectangle. I have all sorts of things. I'll be discussing those. I suppose I should do that. I'll be discussing those tomorrow. Oops, yeah, when I do my opening call, subscriber webinar, uh, Wednesday, August the 23rd, 4 o'clock to 5.30. <clears throat> the power of the nine. 14 moving average. That's the exponential moving average plus other indicators in the Chapman Wave methodology. Um, so I'll be discussing these in great detail, how they form, and I hope to do it live because at 4 o'clock when we start, very soon after that, NVIDIA comes out with its earnings. It should have some S&P, uh, something should happen there. And if it does, uh, we'll be ready to at least show the trading vehicle. So this is the one-minute E-mini chart. Um, first of all, it came back. Now, where should I? Well, for, this went to a peak F, six highest peak in the Chapman Wave methodology. Um, early this morning, it made this arch formation. I drew in a left side, right side price time match. That's bar symmetry. But in this case, not from a high. It's from a particular candle that I'll be teaching tomorrow. And we went one bar early. It took out that left side, the cluster base forming right here, the um, 4424 uh, area. And then it went down to where? It went down to the 200 period moving average. I keep these things. You know, this is all anathema to, to Larry because he has just uh, some basic things that he does over and over and over again. You know, the extension, uh, he does a Fibonacci. Uh, this is, when you're looking at patterns, all I'm saying is that whatever works and works over and over for you, that's what you've got to keep using. And you practice it. It's like 
tennis. I mean, yesterday when I was playing tennis, uh, <clears throat> there was a particular stroke because I had my racket restrung, and the original strings that I just loved were so springy. These are a little harder. I had to power through the move. It took me a little while, and finally I got the stroke. But wow, it was it was tough to get into that. So it's the same thing here. You got to practice these things, and as soon as you get really comfortable with it, you'll find that. It's, it's just not a mystery anymore. It might be a mystery when it goes a different way to what you're expecting, but in your in the parameters that you set, you always have to be ready for what's the alternative. What if such and such happens instead of what I'm anticipating? So look, at this particular low right here at about 12, 17 Eastern time this afternoon, there was a low made. And as it started to move higher, when the nine period moving average crossed, look how when it crossed pink right there, all that period it was negative. Every rally failed. Now it turns green, and every rally, every pullback has been met with buying. And what does it do? I made this the fulcrum, the plumb line, the left side, right side price time match, the bar symmetry. And it did it to the first one. Right there, one bar early, it took out that left side higher from that, that high there. And then what happens is I added this one. I didn't put in the chap. I normally I would put in the I didn't have time to put in the chap wave inside wedge uh, target resistance line, but it would have been right there, and I would have just made it to, to the end of where this horizontal rectangle line comes out, and that would have been right here. And I, I typed into the den that the 10-minute um, had to, uh, where was that? It was right there. The 10-minute had to try for the 200-period moving average again, right there. So what happened? This stalled, and it stalled where? It stalled underneath the previous high. So that means there's weakness now because it, the D should go way above that previous high. It didn't. So it makes an arch formation. So I drew in a left side, right side price time match. I used bar symmetry. I used a particular candle because it was the most obvious thing that I could see right there. And what do we get? We get that's where the X would have been, where the, that would have been the target right there. It got there a little early and just missed the exact price, but it was really close. It's still acting very weak. So those are techniques that I'll be discussing. Very, they, they're not. You put these on your chart, and you don't have to do anything. You just have to follow the chart. Now, uh, I know this is Larry's show. Trade what you see. I know Larry likes to. He does all his homework, and then he puts in the price because he's got measurements. He's got a particular price level that he's looking to enter or exit. He's looking at those uh, retracement levels. He's looking at certain things. And he can put in the buy, and I, I believe from what he says, he likes to check them out when they get there. A little bell goes off, and he has a, a, a look at it. And then what happens is he'll do the trade. So everything's set up. In mine, it's a little different. It means that if you're busy, like, like I, I don't have time to trade all the time, but when I have a chance, I'm right here. I can use the one-minute chart. It doesn't – look at this chart. How on earth would you even know that this is a one-minute chart? You wouldn't. It has the same characteristics as everything's the same. It's, it's a fractal of a bigger time frame. It's right there. So I'd rather get everything done in a shorter period of time. I'll be back. Dow's down 186. That's it. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. .com. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Ah, fabulous, Mozart, over to you there, Major Figure. So what we've got, 362.82 of 4.22 on MDB. This is Mango DB Inc. And we're looking at this doji. Now, this is something, one of the things in the Chapman Bay methodology that I, I discuss periodically is that you can make changes to the notation because your objective is to be correct. It's not like you say, ooh, I'm cheating, I'm cheating, I'm doing. No, you are just the last trough or last peak, the letter, the more accurate your letter, the greater the chances are you're going to be able to use it well. So I put a down arrow when we discussed this uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I put a down arrow just off this peak F right here. But you see that the nine-period moving average did not close, close negatively? So that was wrong. But what happened is after peak F, look what happened. It went kaplop, and that pink nine-period moving average just took it way down. So this should have been a pink or red plus sign above that to say, you know, I don't have the sell signal just yet because it hasn't crossed negative. And let me just show this is for, for people that perhaps are not used to my work, but I always listen to Larry. And, of course, um, Larry does absolutely fantastic work. So uh, to be in this situation right now, um, there's, 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 there's pressure to produce. So <laughs> let me show you. So we got that. You remember I put the X in there? And it, it went all the way to a peak D. That's your objective. At least a P, four higher peaks to peak D and a buy signal to buy mode, confirmed by the stochastic being over 80%. Still nine period moving average strong. Then it went weak. Now it's attempting to turn up. Then I'd notate on the way down. So this is trough A. You can't get a trough until you have the right side bar 
low, higher than the left side, so that becomes a trough right there, trough A, trough B, trough falls, trough C, and this is your trough D. So at a D, on the downside, it's not as important as the upside. Upside is absolutely imperative to be notating. On the downside, I do it for other reasons. It tells you the degree of the the, um, the selling pressure. Sometimes the best is when you just go straight down huge. You make it a trough A and you have a little bit of a bounce and you go to B and it's only like not even a third. It's like a little bit lower. And then you can start. You've got all the selling out of the way. And you can go to the upside. So it works a little differently. So let me get back to our, our peak F right here because we're talking about um, the uh, the high that was made, right? The long-legged doji candle right there. Look how the MACD was already weak. Look how the stochastic was under 80%. On balance volume did a double top and then pulled back. And it gave a double top right at the exact high. Look at that, the exact high. And this time, when it did the retest over there, it was starting to decline a little bit, and then it fell down and went negative. Now, so I want you to just show uh, for our Dan. Dan, uh, I wanted about MDB. Um, <clears throat> so this one is trying for a bounce. And I think that this bounce is going to stall. Uh, it's a 363. 369 in that area, if it can get that high, will be the 14-period moving average resistance. It could even try for the left side high of the 15th of August at 371.58. But if you're looking at that weekly chart, I think this coming Friday with this doji candle on the 14-period moving average after a peak F with a silent doji uh, candle immediately after that, um, another technique that I developed years ago, um, I'm just saying to you, that nine is still way above the 14. And that's a good sign. So there's some internal strength. I, I think that's what you're looking at here. But most importantly, I'd be looking at the chance that if there was a close on a weekly basis below last week's low of 342.0, oh, and it's called a 342. Let's call it a 340. A close below 340 is needed for this to really start to dive to the downside. That's that's the first thing that I'm looking at here that just strikes me as obvious in the weekly uh in the weekly chart. Now look at this huge gap. Part of this gap is trying to be filled here, but it, it's taken so much time that this talks to inner strength in this particular stock. So what I would say is, there's no way that I can look at this gap. I, I'm, I'm not in the camp that says all gaps get filled. I just, I mean, I can show you thousands of, not millions, thousands of charts that never fill the gap from uh, the 2009 low, okay? So that, uh, eventually it will, I'm sure those gaps will be full, but it takes a long time. Just look at the most important gaps near you. Look, this is the gap on the upside, a little bit of a gap here at the high of 388.50 on the 4th, on the 8th of August, and the day before was the 7th, and the low was 387.71, a little bit of a gap there. So I go one step at a time. In the big picture, this gap, at some point, a chunk of it will be filled all the way down to 304. But we're at 363. That's a 20% decline before you get there. So you have to look at it. So here's your first support level. I go to the left side um, peak of importance. That's that peak E right there. And then I join all of these, and I just extend it out. And in fact, I'll put this in, and let's just have a little bit of fun. We won't, be able, we won't know for months or weeks or maybe days space to the right let's just add make it 23 just for fun here we go and i will continue this down and i'll say we'll join it right here um so it'll be this area right here going to that area right there that doji candle high at peak f and the six highest peak is where you really have to be careful if the technicals are starting to fail. Why? Um, nah, that needs to be even further. So then I use it. I'll be talking about this in my webinar on tomorrow night, um, uh, tomorrow afternoon. I take a particular curve-shaped pattern, and I go to the low of that pattern, and I say, okay, if that is the, if, if that is a trough of importance, I want to see if I can join up with a chap wave inside wedge target support line. Now let me go here 
and I'll do this, and I'll keep this here. You, I, it'll disappear for a while because there are exact. So I'll put the X in here, and we'll see. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Why? Because if this rallies sharply to over 400 uh, at the end of August, I don't see how it's going to get there. And this is just a major, major sell. Okay, there it is. So that's my target. My target on this is based on my methodology. It's This is the one of the ways I look at it. If it starts to rally sharp, I have to look at it a cup formation. Say, hey, wait a minute. We're not going down there. It's held. The Chad Wave inside wedge target support line very well and bouncing off it. So this is going to take a lot more time. So I have to change that. But in the meantime, that's what I've got. And it just says that by the 14th of September, um, Mango DB, who should be 20% down. Something will have to happen. That's terrible. We'll be trading in the 310 to 300 area. Okay, so I just put it there. That's all. Now we need to get back to our story here because there's a ton to look at. And uh, Basil Chapman City for Larry Presavento. Let's look as we're going out. Let's just look at wheat. That's wheat. Look at that. Beautiful left side, right side price tie match in the daily chart. Look at that arch formation in the weekly. I'll be back. Dow's down 173. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Hi, folks. Let me just do this. I'll do this live since I know Larry likes to do things live as well. So, yeah, we go. Left side, right side, price, time, match. That's called bar symmetry in my world. And that bar symmetry says right here that, oh, it's a little long. Why did I make it so long? I should have, I, I was doing it quickly, I guess. Um, should be, okay. This is, there are, so we've got a, a ball formation. A ball formation says it's taking a long time to, to get traction. There's wheel slipping going on. This is what we would call, you know, in the ice or in sand, just wheel slipping. The engine's is going on, but the, the, the price is not following through. So this is what we look at in the rectangle formation. But if you look at it closely, you see it's like an inverted head and shoulders and the nine cross positive. That says with the MACD, this is the moving average convergence divergence running, the stochastic coming off the under 20% level to 80%, it's actually 78 now, it says that there's some uh, strength based on the stochastic, <clears throat> but it is a struggle. Look how much time. I like quick. Leg A, peak A. Leg B, two bars later. I got this rule of 136. I love when you get a new recovery high uh, with one bar S. It's just fabulous. That's real power. If it's two to three, that's good. When it goes to six, you almost have to restart the energy to the upside. And it takes, it takes a lot of uh, torque to be able to give it over to the momentum. I call the stochastic the torque indicator and the MACD is the momentum indicator because you want to hand it over like you did here. Look, you hand it. Look at this on balance volume. It gives the exact. People always say, you can't get the exact low. You can't get the exact. Uh, nobody gets that. Uh, we like to get the middle 60 or 80%. And I say, no, no, no. You, that's not the thinking. The thinking is just use whatever tools you've got and you'll find that some of the tools give you exactly what you want. Look. Uh, right here, this is this is the well. First of all, let me. I had this. This is the wheat. Look at this beautiful double top at the 200 period moving average, and then it comes plunging down. Look at this beautiful symmetry the bar from that low to right here to there. It got it in a little earlier time, but I wouldn't be surprised if it retests. This is wheat trading at uh, 597 in the continuous contract. I wouldn't be surprised if this 547 level gets tested in the next couple of days. So the patterns repeat over and over and over. And all you have to do is put the moving average or whatever it is, just let it sit there. You don't have to do anything about it. It just does it by itself. Now, let me show you. So in the Dow, Using this particular tool right here to give me a hint, just based on my knowledge of this instrument, is the 9 and 14 exponential moving averages. It took forever for that to turn down. When it was here, I said, are we looking at a left side internal high and a right side residual high? We've seen it so many times. And then the price fails. Before, uh, back in May, it took us to a nine-period moving average, negative nine-period moving average. It didn't do that. I thought it was going to do that right here in July. Instead, it turned, it stayed green. That's the power of the moving average. And it went all the way until it closed a few days ago, a negative. So um, with that said, what indicators would I use to get the exact high? So I had to use something else. And basically what I did is that there were a couple of things because I used the 120-minute chart, shorter time frames and all. But look at the ictus. Look at the way this leg F, it wasn't a peak until the next day. You can't call something a peak until it actually has a lower high bar. Look at the way there was a little doji candle saying, ah, it's starting to stall. Then a green candle just barely touching the previous day's high. And then a spike to the upside, not very big, but enough. And look what happened. Look at the, look, the, the MACD turned down the next day. So it's not, a, it's, MACD is usually not a, a, a turning indicator. But stochastic had already started turning down from over 80%. It was actually in the 90% area. But the one thing that actually did the turning on the day right here was this. This nine-period moving average right there. Bing! 
So we were very fortunate to short dry there because it gives us cushion. Now, that's the main thing that I look for is I want some kind of a cushion to say, hey, um, I got the – that's why we weren't stopped out in that big move. You remember 500 point something. Woof, up, before you even know it, it's a rogue wave to the upside. However, look at this. Now that – look at the distance between the 14-period moving average, the black 14-period, and the pink 9-period. It's expanding. Look at the MACD, how it's expanding and very negative. Look at the unbalanced volume starting to come down. Not seriously, but it is coming down. Stochastic is, instead of being up in 95% area, it's at 10%. And that's just telling you that the internal strength has waned and that we've got a beautiful bar symmetry from that gap all the way to that peak F at 35,679 on the 1st of August. And we came down a one bar Oh, it was one more early now. It's exactly right. There are. Uh, isn't that nicer? And there's your Chapman Wave inside wedge target support line, testing it, testing it, testing it. And as I said, Friday, we're going to be watching this closely because we might get, for the first time in ages, a weekly sell signal. So what I want you to say is um, using these particular techniques is a big help, at least the way I look at it. It just gives you a sense. It gives you a kind of a GPS to say, whoops, oops, yeah, yep, keep going. Okay, be careful, slow down. Yeah. And it's just guidelines. That's all it is. So with that said, I wanted to show you something else. The SMHs, this is a semiconductor index. And the semiconductors, as far as I'm concerned, leads the market up and leads the market down in the main through years and years and years of, of, of this gyration to higher highs and higher lows or lower highs and lower lows, you can follow the uh, semis because they give you really good clues. And on the 31st of July at 161.17, look at this monthly chart. Look at this beautiful cup. Oh, I had that in. You know, I, I, sometimes I lose the data. I have to redo some things. So here's your, look, here's your low bar. So let's just do this. <clears throat> There's your peak F, and you just failed to make new highs in those months there going into uh, November, December, January, I believe it was. Let me just double-check that. Yeah, November was uh, 59.41, 58.96. Isn't that amazing? Two-bar Chapman wave reversal, and then three-bar Chapman wave reversal, 159.35. By seven cents, it failed to make a new high. Amazing. So now look what I do. I do this. Here's my plumb line, a nice long-legged doji candle. And I just pull it straight up. And then I'll show you something interesting. Look at this. The number of bars on the left to the number of bars on the right. This is bar symmetry. How does the price know to go from... Well, I'll, I'll drag it down and I'll show you something really interesting. Make that green. And look at this. It was two bars early. But look at that cup formation going from 159 to 83 and then back to 161.17 two years later. That's amazing. How does the chart know to do that? I'll be back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi folks, we're back. Basil Chapman sitting for Larry as his voice is healing. Let's hope it heals really quickly. We need him back here. So a couple of things I want to look at in the in the webinar that I'm going to do tomorrow. Uh, maybe I can just do this here. It'll it'll save some time. Yeah, let me just do that. I'll scroll up. Um, yeah. So what we'll be looking at the power of the 914 EMAs. Moving exponential moving averages. The other, I've just found over the years that exponential is the way I prefer it. I mean, everybody can use their own kind of moving average. I love exponential. I've done enough work with it to say that suits my style beautifully. Um, it says Wednesday, August the 23rd, 2023, 4 o'clock to 5.30 p.m. for subscribers. But, you know, this is really a great opportunity. I've got 8, 9, 10, 11 webinars also archived there on different techniques this one's going to be really well defined i'm going to discuss the 914 exponential moving averages how to assess the sustaining power how to prepare for market turns then how to use the unbalanced volume this is joe granville's on balance nothing fancy this is 1950 something or other joe invented this and then eventually became a closing price tool that's on software rather than adding up 783 million 436 plus <laughs> every day you'd have to do that or we'll subtract <clears throat> so that's great and look how it gave this perfect uh sell thing let me just explain something to you look so um we're always looking for the turn with the, the premise that that nine is going to be a clue to how we come back the way it was extending said to me, it's going to take time. Be prepared to take. It's going to be a slow rollover. But every show I said, slow rollover hasn't happened yet, but it's getting closer and closer. But right on the August the 5th, the, uh, the day before, I said, you know what? Everything says to me we've got a sell signal coming. This unbalanced volume is way overbought. That's the only thing I use is overbought and oversold indicators. And we managed to go short right there. It's the same thing that we did when we were looking at the SMHs. We've got that peak E right there with the doji can, a clue. When you finally run out of energy and you've got these huge price moves and suddenly you make this tiny little candle at 161.17 at an all-time high instead of exploding into that uh, that high on the 31st of July, the, the next day I said, oh, we're going to be going short. And we went short. We're still short. We've had some fabulous gains on the SOXS. We got stopped out of one position, that an added on position the other day. We took real nice gains. Even that got a nice gain. 
And now we'll be looking, probably we'll see what happens tomorrow with NVIDIA uh, on my show tomorrow at 10. I'll talk about that in greater detail. So these are the clues. And look at this. Right there on the 31st of July, on balance volume gave you the turn. So people say, yeah, there's no indicator. You know, I get, where, where is it? I get, look at this, Stocks and Commodities magazine. I get this all the time. And for decades I've been getting it. And I read the articles. I've never seen anybody grade peaks and troughs, ever. And it's because, it, I mean, it's, it's not easy to do because there are times we need alternate counts. But um, they've got these complicated things. I mean, here you go. Uh, extend your announced capability with R. That's a new thing, R. Um, new momentum indicators. And yet, look at this. Yeah, you can take all the courses in the world. You can do whatever you want to get the exact day of the high. And we did that June, June uh, when was it? sorry, March the 6th of 2009. We did it in October of 2020. We still have the long position in the Dow and the long position from last uh, uh, October. So th this has been a tremendous help. So I'll be discussing that. And I thought I'd, I thought, yeah, let me just do this, yeah. And all I'm saying is that at this particular point, it's working. Tomorrow it could not work. But when it works, you've got to use it and use it until it stops working. That's all you, you are not the indicator. You are just using an indicator. So, okay, with that said, um, it's one of the things that we're doing. And we've had some really nice positions that have worked out very well. Um, we had a position in energy, which has done very nice, about 12% gain or so in a very short period of time, single digit. I like to, for my subscribers, I like to have all over the show, we can have a $300 stock or we can have a $3 stock. $3 stock just went to $4 and something. So yeah, it can do that. Yep, we've got one that we tried, we had a great gain in for a small position, trying to go, we got it the other, yesterday, and it or day before and it actually went back to the price that we got it and today it's pulling back it's still holding the stop i like it just for the the chart pattern says if it doesn't hold now you don't want it at all so we'll we'll see what happens so when and how to use the 200 period exponential moving average uh, bar symmetry i've been explaining that all all day here using these core tools to analyze the sectors and then i just go on with the different things uh, and we'll do it live. In other words, I'm going to be doing it when the futures are open so that we can use that together with whatever else I'm, I've got um, on tap that's on the file that needs to be discussed. So now let me just do this as we... I was going to uh, uh, talk about my... In 2005... 2002, I'm sorry, I wrote a song called Buy at the Low and Sell at the High. Um, every time this morning, actually, I, I don't know if you can call it singing, but I... I, I I croaked through it, um, and uh, but basically it says, at the market goes up, the market goes down. So you're supposed to buy at the low and sell at the high, but you know what we tend to do? We buy at the high and we sell at the low. So the Chapel Wave is what you need. You buy with the Stoke and the Old Mac Deed. I also include the nine period moving average now. Uh, follow the price and wait for a peak. Higher highs is what we seek. The wave goes to A. A and then to B, even the anticipated C and D, because a buy signal that's upgraded to a buy mode should go to at least four higher peaks. That's when it flashes a cautionary light, but all you got to do is make your stops real tight. Suddenly it goes to E and F, a bell rings so loud it can make you deaf. That was the uh, on balance volume. So, um, and then I, I always say, things I make yeah. So what you gonna do? Which way to go? You sell at the high and you buy at the low. All right, so that's just the way it is. And we haven't bought yet. Well, we did for quick trades. We've had two very quick, uh, aggressive, long positions in a small position, just as a trade. Uh, we got stopped out for um, a, a one point something percent loss, and today for the for the. 40 I think 50 cent, 40 a 40 cent loss on a 60 dollar stock. So that if it worked, it would have been great. If it didn't work, we're out. And it also told me today that if we couldn't get this rally, you're going to have to wait for another rally, because now look at this red candle. Look at the S and P. Oh, wait, oh, did I just? 
Did I just eliminate something? Oh, my. So let me go back. Oh, thank goodness. There's a back button. I just hit the wrong chart, and I just, whew, that would have been upsetting. Okay, so I need here, yeah, look at this, the S&P. Look at that red candle. Oh, oh, the reason why it's going like that is I must go back to changing space to the right. I only like it to have about six or eight. Let's go to six. There you are. There. Are. So, look, there's your price symmetry. Uh, and we've gone down. We haven't tested the left side low. And this is just saying that rallies should fail. And the only way that it will change and be really positive if the stochastic at 40% can start to trade at 28 or 33% with a price going to 44.50 in the S. I'll be back in a moment for the final segment. Uh, this is Trade What You See, Larry's show. While his voice is shook up. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. Back, final segment. This is Larry Pesavento's show. Basil Chapman sitting in my show. is the Target Conditions Hour at 10 a.m. Eastern Time each day. And my service is the opening call daily newsletter. And uh, it's a pleasure to be able to sit in for Larry, who's uh, hopefully his voice is recovering. I drew this in earlier. I did not know where it was going, but I said, let's make that the price, uh, that particular candle for a move to the right side in this rectangle formation that might be forming a cup formation. And let's see if it goes to D. And it went exactly to D right there. Uh, this is the little dot shows you the, oops, the dot there. The dot shows you 
That's where it was. It was right on time. And then it's pulled back. And now it's making the arch formation. You just go from arch to cup to arch to cup or a V to inverted V, straight line. And that's the mix all the time. Then you make a rectangle formation. So with that said, um, just had a quick question about the GDX. You know, the silver's acting way better than, I've been saying that for quite some time. Silver's just already on a tear. Silver SLV. <clears throat> Look at this. Nice green at the high of the day at 21.48 of 12 cents. I prefer this one to the GDX. But you asked me about the GDX, and the GDX at this particular point is trying to establish some kind of a base. It is really beholden to the dollar, and the dollar is holding quite nicely. It's made a, just a nominal leg G slash C. It can't get away from the 200 period moving average, but it's holding. So we've got to follow that very closely over the next couple of days. So, yes, if you're in the GDX, I would just make it a real tight stop. You're going to have plenty of time to get into it if it's successful. So I wouldn't be in a rush to get to it, but I say that the silver is actually acting better. So with that said, I'm just going to say, going to wrap it up here. I'm not sure Larry will be back tomorrow. I think he needs time. So we'll see what happens with Larry. But uh, so, as I say, my webinar is tomorrow. And I'll be discussing these very things that you saw live right now. That we, I, I like to do it live because you're either right or you're wrong. And you can see how it works. And that's just the best way to do it. So with that said, I'm going to say thank you for being here. Um, I'll be back a little later with Tom. And I will be doing my webinar tomorrow at 4 o'clock for subscribers. I think it's worth looking at. You get your money back if you don't like it. Hey, what kind of a bargain is that? A great bargain. See you soon. Thank you for being here.